What's poppin' homies? It's your favorite homegirl, Gossip Girl, and guess what? I was just talking about TJ and Amy in my last video about how the, the fans want them to come back on the air. Well, they not thinking about none of that right now because you know why? They are on vacation together. They're about to be somewhere in Georgia, about to lay up and relax and forget New York City for a while. You know, I don't think they're coming on the air this year, which is only a week or a couple of days left in the year. So, they said, let's make the best of it. You know, let's go on a vacation. Now, let me tell you something. The Daily Mail be getting out. The Daily Mail, whoever, <laughs> they must have a, a, a device on these people because they've always spotting them everywhere. So, these pictures are from the Daily Mail, right? And it's Amy and TJ walking through the airport. So, let's see what this article has to say. Amy and TJ were spotted touching down at Atlanta's Hartfield Jackson Airport on Monday morning. Now, the pair appeared to be enjoying each other's company and looked relaxed as they walked through the airport. They dressed casually, and at one point, TJ put a protective arm around Amy as they navigated their way through the busy airport. Okay, so he probably saw the paparazzi. He probably saw the bloggers and was like, listen, you know, let me just give her a little sigh of relief. Let me put my arm around her a little bit. Just to make sure, you know, she got somebody next to her. Now, smiling and chatting, the co-hosts, also lovers, TJ and Amy, touched down at the airport in Atlanta. Um, they ready to spend an intimate New Year's together. Now, seeing in these exclusive pictures obtained by the Daily Mail, the couple um, seemed very affectionate and at, a, and at ease, you know, as they deboarded a morning flight from New York City. The couple appeared to, you know, to be glad to leave New York and to leave all that stress behind and to just enjoy each other's company during this vacation. And as you can see in some of the pictures, they are not caring about any pictures. They're probably used to the pictures already, you know. Um, they probably just don't even care. <laughs> they probably don't even care. So, you got a lot of people rooting for them. You got people who still say, you know what, they they are some horrible people. And at this point, um, there's not, nobody to do about it. You know, they was already seen going to lunch. All right. Their relationship is out. You know, the spouses of the, the that, that they were married to are moved on. You know, they know what's going on between Amy and TJ it just now, you know, the the, the the network, we don't know what they're going to do. And it just seems like in these pictures, really, that Amy and TJ are really relaxed. Like, they don't even care. They're going to do them regardless. So, ABC has yet to make a final decision on whether either or both will return to their lunchtime show since they were suspended indefinitely following the revelation that their well-publicized friendship and on-screen chemistry had crossed the line. Now, as the pair prepare to step into 2023 together, they may, you know, have a breath of sigh, you know, of relief to leave the behind, to leave this old nasty year behind in which the affair has left both of their 12 marriages, you know, and heading to a divorce. Now, I'm not sure if the divorce between TJ and his wife started, but I do know the divorce between Amy and her husband has started. Now, TJ Holmes has a house in Atlanta where the couple had planned to spend Christmas. It is not known whether those plans were derailed by the bomb cyclone that grounded thousands of flights or the whirlwind of scandal in which they are embroiled. So most likely, they're probably going to his home for a vacation. Now, certainly the couple initially kept their distance in the immediate aftermath of the story breaking with sources questioning whether the relationship could survive, you know, because of the attention that was getting. But just before Christmas, they were seen, they was, you know, unable to keep away from each other. And they was in the fin financial district where Holmes' apartment is, but they was having lunch at the Capitol Grill. You know, so 
the Daily Mail is no joke, okay? They was all if all up in that place <laughs> getting snapshots. And if you go back, you'll see that video as well that I posted. They was getting snapshots of the, even the food. I'm like, this photographer is no joke. So I'm not sure if they know where TJ's home is at. And I give it a couple days or a week or so, they're going to be like, okay, this is where... They hide out because they was that they could not escape the paparazzi or the Daily Mail when they was in that cottage in New York, upstate New York. So I'm thinking they we're going to see some more stuff. The Daily Mail is on them. So let's go to the comments. Let's go to some of these comments and um, see what everybody is saying about this. No one knows the truth about their marriages or personal lives. Who are we to stand in judgment? They will need each other. It is a cold, hard world out there alone when you go from a big time somebody to a nobody in a split second. What really does not help is he is a horn dog who will do <laughs> who will do it compulsively. She is a control freak. This is not gonna end well. And this is what some of the responses that are on the comments in these in this vlog. He's looking good for 45. No doubt about that. One comment says, why can't we lead with West Point removing all of its... Oh my God, that has nothing to do with this story. I'm sure it will last. Lots of kids and marriages among them. Mm, well, I guess. And the kids, this is disgraceful. They're just a couple of disgusting skank. <laughs> I'm so there's so many people are going in on these comments in here. Where are their kids? It's Christmas. That's right. These two narcissistic cheaters only care about themselves. It will end badly for both of them. So we don't know how it's going to end, to be honest, but they are seen, you know, going to spend some time together. In a nice, quiet place in Georgia at TJ's home. So, it is what it is. You know, we don't know the arrangement they have with their ex-spouses. We don't know any of that. So, um, if the cat is out the bag. You know, the cat is out the bag now. So, there's nothing for them to hide. They can't hide nothing. But, I'm telling you, this Daily Mail, whoever the photographer is, he is on their tail. Like crazy. Because right now, guess what? They are the story. And they are going to be the story until we find out what GMA is going to do with them next. So, it's going to be just that. It's just going to be just that. So, um, anyway, that's all I have for you guys. What do you think about this? You know, um, like I said, look at the pictures. They seem okay. They seem happy. They seem like they got this all under control. You know, I'm pretty sure they had lots of conversations after, you know, their suspension or was taken off the air for a minute. To me, I do think they probably know the fate of their jobs, but I don't think they're going to get fired. If anything, somebody's going to be moved around somewhere. That's what I think. You know, there's a lot of people on Twitter saying other things, you know, well, you know, if she did this with a white guy, it wouldn't be no problem. It wouldn't be no suspension, but I... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. All I know is that TJ was messing with different women in the network. Now, rumor has it, because I don't know her like that, she was doing the same thing, you know, hop around from dude to dude, from dude to dude, so I don't know. So, if you guys know anything about Amy, let me know in the comments section, because I don't know, like, anything about her. But his track record with these networks is not good. It's not good, so... Like I said, if they do go back next year, they might be on separate stations. And if they do put them together back on the air, they're probably going to have a talk with them. Listen, no flirting. Just do your job. And that's that. So we'll see how that play out. But yeah, they may, you know, touch down in Georgia and they're going to spend some quiet time together. What do you guys think about it? I'll talk to you later.